Teresa and Oscar sure seem close. I've known them since I was an initiate, but I've never seen them quarrel, not even once. Did you ever fight with your brother, Velvet? Yeah, I guess I did. Sometimes I'd chew him out, and he'd sulk and stop talking to me, but I found that adorable too. You did? No matter how much he dug in his heels, or tried to talk like he was in charge, after a while he'd be right there trailing along behind me. Like a little puppy dog. Puppies are a lot more obedient. I always had to keep an eye on him. Little brothers are odd creatures. Rokuro's a little brother. Is he adorable too? Huh? I don't think a little brother who's out to kill you is in any way adorable. But Chigure seemed like he was having fun. Sometimes you just don't make sense. Huh? I don't know. <laughs> little brothers. Do you have any siblings? I'm an only child. Well then, that's perfect. You pretend the boy is your little brother. Huh? That's a bit extreme, but actually, when I'm talking with Lafayette, sometimes I think, this is what having a brother must feel like. I could be Eleanor's brother. Don't take any of this nonsense seriously, Lafayette. Malakim are just tools to exorcists. She can never think of you as her brother. Oh, yeah. You're wrong. I've changed how I view Malakim. I know that's true because I can think of him as a brother. Right. She's all talk. Don't believe her. It seems to me like you're the one who's treating him as a tool by forcing your own opinions upon him. Ooh, two sisters struggling for the affections of their brother. Eeny teeny candlestick. Which one will the Muppet pick? How about an older brother instead?